Hello. I'm live and I'm late. I'm late and live. Live and late. Uh, I don't know if anyone's up, and if you are up, you're probably watching the football because I'm reason to believe there's a football match going on, which is a nail biting, and uh, so probably probably no one's here. But anyway, I said I'd do it, so I'm going to do it. And um, I said that I'd uh, I'd, not, I'd respond to someone's question, so I, I I'm going to do that. I'm really sorry I'm so late. I've been in theatre all day doing one case, so I haven't been even been able to get out and put messages out because I've started early on much like midday or something and just finished so um, sorry I'm late but uh, I've got a couple of things that I said that I talk about but as ever if there's any questions I'd be happy to talk about them um, the first thing is uh, yeah no I wasn't watching I wasn't watching the match show no, no. Um, I've been uh, work been working um, uh, I've got a patient who's actually a patient of mine, I don't know if she's here, but she might see the replay, who uh, had surgery yesterday and I saw her this morning and um, I had a look at everything, I was very pleased with everything and then I got a call later on to say that she's unhappy because there's um, wrinkling or um, something that she doesn't like. Um, I... Uh, um, First of all, if she is watching, I'm sorry I didn't come and see you or talk to you, but I have been in theatre all day, so I did say that uh, ask Vicky to give you a call and say that I talk about it this, uh, this evening now. Um, what to do if you're not happy with your surgery, basically. Um, uh, so, um, the, I mean, it really, when, when, we, when you do surgery, um, you can sort of get an idea what the result is, get an idea, really, of the result at the end of the surgery. But things start swelling and the shape takes ages to settle and things. So when you, the patient, look at your result of surgery, certainly day one, it's not it's not the um, like the final result. So it often looks um, not quite right. Uh, and so it, sometimes people look at their surgery immediately and say, oh, fantastic, I love it. And sometimes people say, oh, hold on a minute, I don't like it. It's wrinkly or it's, there's a problem. Um, whatever you say whether you say you love it or you don't like love it um i always say not to worry about it when i'm looking at people sort of the first few days after surgery i'm looking for things like hematoma problems with the wound you know well hematoma really you're not going to get a problem with the wound um you know that, that that's what i'm looking for so if there's not a hematoma i'm happy um and then i see you a week post-op and then we're just looking at how the wounds healed looking for infection we're just looking for problems in the first few weeks just looking to see if there's any problems we're not really making judgments on the shape or the size or the you know cup size or the whatever um, because it takes time to settle so um, I will come and see you tomorrow um, but just to reassure you because I don't know exactly what the issues were but just to reassure you that um, that uh, it is uh, oh, Sarah, buona sera. Um, it is um, not unusual to not be 100% certainly at day one which is where we are with day one even at you know one week we're just looking for the healing and then well what's all that going on there and then um, and then I see it six weeks and even at six weeks it's not fully settled you know, the shape probably won't be quite right and there might still be wrinkling or knobbly bits or something. Uh, and then I normally say it starts to sell around three months. Three months is a long time. So, yeah, so please don't worry. Um, and I will see you tomorrow and hopefully it will be okay. But uh, that's the other thing I say. I think, you know, it's not your final result. I'm not saying it will definitely be okay because I don't know what your final result will be. I've got an idea, but, but don't know exactly. So we have to leave it a few months to see what your final result is going to be. So there's not worth worrying about it because it's not your final result. And hopefully your final result will be something happened then will be um will be fine. Um I was watching the football, I don't know why I'm doing this really, because uh, anyway, no, we've got people here. We've got people here. I, um so um the other thing I want to talk about is a patient who has, it's not a patient, well, it is a patient. She's got, hold, she's contacting me from America saying she's got a blue nipple. Well, 
She doesn't actually say she's got a blue nipple. She's just talking about what to do if you've got a blue nipple after breast reduction. So I don't know if it's talking about her or someone she knows. But she's saying got a breast reduction. And she, you know, what is there something you've done with a blue nipple after breast reduction? There's lots of these questions. People, people often ask questions, and I, as you know, I encourage questions, and I love it when you ask questions, and it's great, and I'm happy to answer them. But there are certain questions that is really, you know, it's hard to answer or hard to, you know, talk about. Um, without seeing a patient and certainly something like that a blue nipple after a breast reduction that's something that really hi donetta nice to see you um all right oh uh that's really something that needs to um you know you need to talk to your doctor about really that's uh there's a lot of people ask questions like what about these implants would these fit my frame to you know would a 255 give me the result i want or something like that I like saying that you need to talk to a doctor face to face and go through it, but certainly a blue nipple is something that needs to um, be talked about. A blue nipple is a complication after a breast reduction, uh, and it is something that you shouldn't really be asking about. Hi Claire, nice to see you um, online, particularly if you're in America and I'm here. Um, so well, um, so. Uh, the problem with the, the, the when you do a breast reduction, I you're moving the nipple, and uh, we can tell that who doesn't watch football, can we? Or is it finished? Maybe it's finished. I don't know. Um, when you're moving the nipple, the reason the nipple's blue is because it's got too much blood. That's why it's blue. It's engorged. There's too much blood. Basically, when you have when you're moving tissue, a lot of plastic surgeons about mo moving tissue. Uh, you've got blood going in and blood coming out. You've got arteries pumping blood in, veins pumping blood out. And usually the problem, it can be a problem with either, the usual problem is with the vein. The veins are much lower pressure systems, so if you have a kink, if you have a problem with the veins, then they get blocked and the artery's pumping blood in, but it's nothing's getting out. Obviously, if you have a problem with the artery, the nipple's white. So if it's white, and you put a needle in it and it doesn't bleed, um, it's got no, no arterial blood in, um, but the most common problem is it being blue because it's engorged with blood, it's got too much blood, uh, that's what we call congested, and it is a problem after, um, I would have to sign something. Huh? Oh, I'll, I'll come in. Yeah, sorry. All right, <laughs> uh, I haven't signed something. Um, so it's got too much blood and it's congested and uh, it is a problem and it's something that we worry about when we do breast reductions and uh, asking if something can be done yes something can be done but you really need to talk to the surgeon who did the surgery to get ascertain what the problem is is the problem that it's kinked um, in which case they could take you back to this and unkink it is the problem that you've got a hematoma in which case you can have a hematoma evacuated you have to be examined for that to check that you haven't got a hematoma is the problem that just the pedicle was very long um, and the, the, the blood's not getting out of it, very long pedicle, uh, if it was a very big breast reduction, in which case, you know, what can you do? You can bleed it, make it bleed and things like that, leeches, you know. There are things that you can do to try and get the blood out of it. Um, if it's not too bad, you can watch it and just see if it settles and hope that it's okay. Um, but, you know, you need to talk to your doctor and your doctor needs to be aware of it. And um, it may or may not be, be something can be done. Does that make sense? Um, but it's up to your doctor, really. It's my bottom line advice. Um, right. What everyone's doing up at this time? What are you all doing up at this? I suppose it's not that late, really, is it? It's late to be at work, but it's not that late to be up, I guess. Um, well, if there's any questions, I'll be very happy to ask them, as ever. If not, I'm going to go and have some wheat bix with sugar, because that is, you know, this time of night, 10 o'clock at night, still here. One case since a long time ago, about midday. Um, that's a wheat bix with sugar day. I think you'll agree. Um, so. I will, I mean, I'm on the normal, I don't know if you notice I'm on the normal um, thing here without the bits that go across the bottom. So I think I can see, oh, we have got, oh my, there's lots of things, God, this, um, I think that's good, is it? All these things coming across the screen, they're not bad, are they? I can't, they can't be bad, I haven't said anything bad. Um, 
Uh, uh, what was I going to say? Okay, so if anyone's got a question, please do ask. If they have asked and I missed it because of this lag thing, I will be, I'll, I'll answer it myself late, you know, in the thing. And talk about it next week. Good evening, Aida. Nice to see you. Um, but if that's that, then let's all go and watch the football, shall we? Or is it probably all finished? Uh, actually, I'm going to go home. I'm going to sign the form and go home. And I will see you next week. And um, I hope that has been all right. Has that been all right? I hope that's been all right. Has that been helpful? Anyway, uh, that has been helpful. Um, I'm going to check myself out. And see you next week. Bye. Good night. Have a good evening.